next thing is we'll talk about ccna uh, certification changes as i already uh, explained previously like before still you know currently we have different tracks specializations like we have ccna um, ccna with the different specializations for each and every track now these are going to expire so you'll be having only one track that is a common ccna track so there's no more specializations so we'll also walk through with the contents basically the contents uh, we can find on the official website again so again the, as i said the devnet cert, uh, certified devnet associate it's a new track for the programming you know kind of programming automation these kind of things okay so now talking about the certification exams like before for ccna now we have a ccna routing switching exam basically that is like a prerequisite exam for all your cisco certifications now again before 24 so you can either pass to get your ccna routing switching you can either pass ccna 100 200 125 one exam or you can write two exams like icnd1 and icnd2 so you can either write icnd1 icnd2 exams to get your ccna certification now after february 2024 so you need to write only one exam that is ccna 200 301 that is only one exam you have to write and you can see the list of topics if you just want to go through with the list of topics probably you can use this url okay so let, let me just walk through with the cisco website to see from from where you can go so you can go to the tab and generally you can okay, so if you go to certifications here you can find uh, the different information like you can just go to associate and check there so again on every page you will see these updates you can see this cisco release a new ccna even if you go to ccnp as well as the cci you will see the same information you can see there is a ccna if you just want to learn some more information on this ccna So the new exam goes live from February 24, 2020. So to, to just have an overview of the CCN exam, and you can see this is more like a, you know, a technical or marketing terminology you'll see. So some, some information you can, you can just walk through with this. I'll try to cover up an overview. It covers mostly the same uh, as your routing switching topics. So basically you're not going to learn um, completely new things so 70 to 80 percent of the topics you're going to learn learn the same okay so there's no formal prerequisite for the ccn exam and this is the new exam which you have to pass if you want to uh, get certified so you can also see the exam topics so if you just click on this url you can find the topics here Again, I'm not getting into topics right now because I'll, I'll just try to cover up because we, we don't really want to see here. I'll be covering them in detail later on for the CCNA in a separate video. But again, the topics remains the same. So you're still going to cover the basic fundamentals and how to access the LAN, WAN network connectivity, IP addressing services. And also you cover some security fundamentals like, like generally you have ACL NAT options. So additionally, you'll be learning this automation and the programmability. This is something a uh, major change you will see. And even if you just walk through with the with the details, you can find a little bit details here. So maybe you, uh, when it comes to network access, you you may not see most of the some of the old technologies which are not being used. But basically, you you still see the CCNA what uh, covered here. It's still the same old a paper whatever you have learned so the same so which means around 80 percent of the topics you still remains the same so additionally you may you may have some around 15 to 20 percent of the topics which are which are being added here okay so if you have already begun studying the ccna so you don't really need to worry as i said you know you the, the whatever you have covered in the ccna it's going to remain the same uh, more than 70 to 80 percent 
Okay, so if you are if you have already CCNA certified, let's say CCNA RNS certified, then what will be the uh, what will be the you know recertification policy? Now for that you can check the official Cisco website here. Now there is something called uh, migration policy. Okay, so this is what. So if you're already certified in any of the CCNA programs, let's say if you are certified in CCNA routing switching, so you can just click on this link. I'll try to open up in a new 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 tab here. And okay, so I think it's a migration option. Let me click on migration. Okay, so here you can see if you have already uh, if you complete any CCNA or CCDA certifications before you will receive a new CCNA certification a training batch in the corresponding technology area. So again, if you are already a CCENT certification and if you if you just want to go with the CCNA, so like you know there are two exams for CCNA. You you can still write CCENT exam first. That is one hundred you know one hundred code. And the next paper, you, you write the 200 code as well. So bas basically, if you want to get CCNA, you have to compulsory pass the next exam as well. So this is like the certification policy, like this is the previous one. So if you already passed this exam, so basically you have to pass another exam before before uh, February 2023 again. So if you already CCNA is certified, then you the, your certification will automatically renew for three years uh, from the date of the exam so it, it's like the same you know there's no there's no change uh, in that so this will be automatically updated like if you're already ccna routing switching certified you will be like ccna certified uh, it will be updated in your profile again again ccent uh, is going to expire so there's no more ccent certification uh, the main reason is it's not really well known certification because many people generally write the CCNA exam 200-125 directly and that is like a minimum level of certification what companies prefer even you know everyone prefer to do that okay so now now this is a new exam again so if you are not certified before that you need to go and write the new exam